What is up guys, Alex T back in the video. Today we're gonna to be doing a review and an impression of the VDM10, also known as the Apollo Ghost. They're exactly the same scooters. The only difference is the two different battery sizes, but literally everything's exactly the same. We're gonna be doing my first impressions. It's the middle of February right now, and I only got zero, or yeah, we, got, we only got one mile on the scooter. I barely even rode it in the first place, only to test it out. But yeah, one mile on the scooter, and we're gonna be doing my first impressions, also known as the Ghost. Same thing, VDM10 Ghost. All I'm asking you guys is to subscribe, like the video, and yeah, we'll get started off with my first impression. Right off the bat, the scooter is a dual motor and it has suspension on both sides. It is very, very soft. It has like adjustable suspension over here and you could do some screws or whatever on it. Over here is also a suspension and you could also adjust it with this screw. One thing I noticed about the scooter that is very well built is the fender. It has two like aluminum metal like supports on each side which will make the fender last a long time. It doesn't even shake. The back has it as well, the rear motor, and both of these tires are motored, so it's a dual motor scooter, scooter. And something that really popped out was these two big bright LEDs on the back. The front lights are not that good, and we'll get into that later, but it also offers blue LED lights on both sides of the scooter, as you guys can see. You cannot really change the colors unless you really like get into the scooter modded at your customs. That's all the lighting. It does not have hydraulic brakes. It has disc brakes uh, by with a string. So yeah, not that bad. Nothing really interesting. Over here, as you can see, the tires are brand new. Barely even used, literally just like dust over it because I've been storing the scooter in here for a couple of days. It has two char charging ports and it comes in with a 2.5 amp hour charger. So yeah, that's what I got. You could double charge the scooter at the same time, put two chargers and do whatever you want. Or you could just get one super fast charger whatever you really want. It comes with pretty good grip tape. The Apollo Ghost only comes with grip tape on here and here and just the logo over here. Since this is like the off-branded version, this is straight from the factory. It has a third grip tape because it has no logo. The scooter turned off, so I'm gonna turn it back on right now. It has like this back foot pedal. So since the scooter has dual motors, it has pretty fast acceleration and you really wanna have support on the back. And yeah, we've got some wires here, lights. The front lights are pretty weak. That's why I got a mod up there I'll show you later. But yeah, we've got some nice tires here. They're street tires already. And moving on up, we have the skeleton type aluminum design. Very well built, nothing is shaking. I added my own um, lock over here, but I'm gonna have to upgrade since this is a $1,300 scooter, $1,400, $1,500 because the price changes. This is a $6 lock, so I'm gonna need to get like a better lock to secure this thing whenever I go places. All the cables are very neatly tied, as you can see, one, two, three, four, these are from the factory. They're zip tied, look at this. Doesn't even move, doesn't even shake except here, but whatever. Literally super well built scooter. Moving on up, we have the stem. It is like a triple lock system. It's like a bike seat or like a steering wheel on a bike seat. You basically have to pull these latches out and it's gonna become very loose, it's like this. You know what a bike seat like thing looks like. And you're gonna unscrew both of these and you're gonna lift it up. It is a super secure, super like sturdy scooter. And yeah, if you're gonna wanna fold it, you're just gonna have to lift this up and pull it down. Uh, my lock, I already showed you guys that. Nothing else here, it's just a nice um, stem over here. And now we get to like the main area. We're gonna go left from right. So left we have these standard grip grips I might upgrade them into a new one the scooter did come with a bell yeah pretty normal uh, brakes these left ones go to the rear tire and the lights actually flash if I'm holding the brake if I let go if I let go they stop same thing for uh, both brakes over here I have a modded flashlight it's an accessory you could just screw it on like there since the front lights are pretty weak I got this accessory that makes it like super far it's 3,000 3, lumens, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna light up the area pretty well. I used to own one of these, and I rebought it. Over here in the center, we have like a um, screw, or like, I don't know, really know how to call it, but if you like unscrew this or like unloosen it, both of the handlebars are gonna fall, and like, like not fall, I mean like, come, they're gonna be more compacted if you're traveling. Over here, the scooter came with two keys, and this is the voltage. This scooter is 58 volts. So over here, as you can see, some battery is drained, like 0 0.4, 0 0.6, whatever. It keeps changing while it's on. Right here, we have two keys. If you want to turn off the whole scooter, you just 
Like there, everything shuts down. If you want to turn it on, you just do that and you press it on. Moving on, we have one of the best phone holders ever on a scooter. I used to have many phone holders and one of the reasons my phone cracked was because of the scooter phone holder. This is one of the best ones on the market, guys. You could literally adjust the phone size. It has these like claw shaped design. It will never slip out. It doesn't even move. Look at this. It doesn't even move. It, like, it literally controls the whole scooter, which is perfect. And yeah, you could literally change to the size of your phone. So that's pretty good. Down here, we have some motor changes. So if you want to go single motor, turbo, eco, single, dual, everything, it all controls by these two buttons. You can push them in, push out, everything. There's, there's a million of combinations, if you guys know what I mean. We have another standard grip. I might upgrade in the future both of these to ODI grip tapes. I mean grips, if you know what I mean. So, some people know what I mean when I say that. We have another brake, same thing, they flash. And this is the coolest part. You could actually mod this a lot. There's many, there's over 22 different settings or 20 on this scooter. And you could, yeah, you could literally change all the settings you want on it. You could customize it, acceleration, start time, miles per hour, you could literally mod anything on the scooter you ever would think. One mile. I put miles per hour gear one. If you want to change gears, you just go mode. This is the trigger to accelerate. So the more you pull down, the faster you accelerate, brakes, you guys already know. I'm gonna turn off both lights and this is how it looks like, guys. Literally, there's no other lights except upstairs, but you can't really see anything. This is how the scooter looks like. You can see the skeleton type design. Look at this, it is pretty nice. No, um, no like cracks, no scratches. Literally brand new scooter, just got it yesterday literally just got it yesterday been storing it this entire time and there's salt outside everywhere literally the whole place is salt and it's snowy so i can't drive this for another couple months i could still test make videos on it but yeah expect a lot of videos this is how it looks like at night as you guys can see i'll move around a little bit you can see the reflection i'll come up close as you can see the front lights are very weak if i turn these off Look at this, it's not, a, it's not, it's like you can't see anything. And with this light, literally flashes up the entire place. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, we're gonna be doing a suspension test, we're gonna be doing a night test. I'm gonna drive this around, I'm gonna show you my accessories, I'm getting a helmet, gloves, ski, goggles, everything guys, I'm gonna be showing you way more. This is gonna be this year's scooter for the summer. On 2019, 2020, I had Ninebot. 2021, I had Kugo. And this is my 2022 scooter, as you can see, brand new. Really happy to be owning this. Paid $1,300 for a brand new from the factory, not a single scratch. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, comment down below what kind of videos you guys wanna see. And we'll see you all in another video.